Hi there and welcome. This is Patty Bennett with pattystamps.com. I am so excited that you're joining me today. We're going to talk about the awesome Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. And I have an entire box of samples. Let me show you. Oh my gosh. Look at all this. We're going to talk about all of these fun samples today. So I have them in a box right here. We're going to go through the catalog together and we are going to look at all of these amazing samples that I have been working on. There are a lot of them here. <laughs> so um, I hope that you all are going to enjoy this little tour and all of the great samples. So this Stampin' Up! catalog is for the fall and Christmas holidays, and it just went live on Wednesday, September 5th. So the dates are on the back, if you ever need to know. It's um, September 5th through January 2nd. And now that it is live, I can actually open it and show you the inside. Hopefully you already have one, but what we're gonna do is go through this and I am going to just start pulling out samples of the products um, that I have. So I've made some cards, I have some products to show you, and I am super excited that I can actually show you the inside, yay! So if you're joining me on Facebook Live, it is 2 p.m. Pacific Time, Friday, September 7th. And if you're watching this later, that's great. I'm glad you're with me, but I just wanted to go ahead and get started because I think it's right about 2 p.m. Pacific time. And I see we have lots of people already joining us from all over the U.S. and all over the world. Welcome, everybody. So this first card I wanted to start off with, this was inspired by Marcy Rogers in My Love to Stamp group. My Love to Stamp group is the demonstrators from all over the United States who have joined my team. And Marcy is one of the demonstrators in my group. She did a card similar to this. It was actually kind of a hybrid of these two. And I decided to, to kind of mix it up and make it different. So I am using this amazing bundle here. It's the Merry Christmas to All. And it is really nice. These dies are amazing and large. You can see here that uh, with the Merry and the Happy, you don't really get a sense of their size in the catalog. Let me just grab them. Sorry, I didn't have those handy. So here is the stamp set. It's a double set. You can see the set here in the catalog. But look at the size of these dies. Like, look how big this is. This is actually wider than a card. So you would need to angle it if you were putting it on a card that way. Or if your card was this way, of course, it would fit. But I just wanted to show you the amazing size of the Merry Holidays, Happy, and Christmas in this bundle. Because like I said, down here in the catalog, they just look so tiny, but they aren't and they're amazing. So I just wanted to show you this and I thought I would just go through and just show you quickly the pieces and how easily these cards go together. So again, welcome if you're joining me. This is Patty Bennett. I blog at pattystamps.com. And if you need any supplies, you can go to mystamporder.com. I have that right up here for you. So these are both crumb cake cards and they are top fold cards. So we call this the hot dog way. If you do the cards the other way, then we call them the hamburger way. So this is the hot dog way because it's long and skinny. And this one has paper from, I believe this is called Mary. Let me just flip the page and get the, the name right. Uh, yeah, all is bright. I was going to say Mary and bright. All is bright. So all the paper is from this one on page six. So for this Mary card, I used this bokeh design. It's just a very subtle dot design in the background. And then we have the gold foil paper layer, and we have a layer piece of this one. So this is three by four, and then this is two and three quarters by four. 
Then I die cut the Mary, but I put the adhesive sheet on the back of the cardstock first, which is very important. Then you just have a little three quarter inch wide strip that you'll stamp on and put your Mary, you'll just peel and stick and put it there. So very easy card to put together. And then I did red rhinestones on it. So again, this was sort of a hybrid idea from Marcy in my downline. And I just wanted to make something similar, but a little bit different because, you know, that's what stampers do. So that's that one. So the Christmas stamp is right here in that set. And then for Happy Holidays, the die cut is the happy and Holidays is the stamp. And let me show you a little tip on this one. So this is, again, the top fold crumb cake card. And then I just have a layer of crumb cake and that's what Marcy had on hers. So I was trying to sort of go with that at first. Now here is the new copper glimmer paper. But can you see, I think you can see it in there, probably if I turn it over, I have die cut the word happy. And that way you are getting more use out of that piece. Now you could also just cut two tiny little strips and put them top and bottom. That would be even more economical. But this is how I decided to do it. I'm going to make this with a friend tomorrow. So I just had it ready and die cut happy out of there so that it's ready to go. And this piece of beautiful paper will layer on top. And it is also from the All is Bright DSP collection and then holidays get stamped there and then these are the metallic pearls to just finish off that card. So that's how simple this design is and how easy it is and you could mix and match and do any papers and I just thought that that was such a neat design. Thanks Marcy for that idea and I hoped you enjoyed those two quite different ideas even though they are from the same set of supplies but just a different look so that's on page four and five the merry christmas to all bundle and and then on page six the all is bright designer paper so i combined all of that and then let's move on to this one i think this is so super super cute and this is called making christmas bright and let me show you this card so I designed this card using this stamp set, and I thought this was so cute. I like this. Do you like it? I think it's so cute. So what I did was I just stamped, to start with, all the light bulbs in all the different colors. I just mounted all five of those to one block, stamped it twice on strips of paper, and then it was ready to punch out with the light bulb punch. So here's the light bulb punch. And of course, when you stamp first and then you just slip your paper in, that's always the best way to do your punching so that it's really easy to see what you're punching. So I did those in about 12 different colors because I really didn't know what I was going, what I wanted this to look like. And then I noticed, like, okay, duh, because I was really on a roll. It says, Merry and Bright. <laughs> so you kind of need those to go in order. <laughs> like, yeah, you could say Bright and Merry. But anyway, so I did those three first, and then a plain one, and then the one with the star. So they're all right here in this set. <laughs> But I just, I was kind of laughing at myself because I didn't even notice that till I started to stick them on. And so here's a little tip for you. This little piece here that you can see that I stamped back here, I laid these five bulbs down flat onto my card. Didn't stick them on, just laid them there. I stamped this around the tip. Then I popped them up onto, can you see that they're on dimensionals? So that made it very easy to get the placement. So I hope that's a good tip for you. And then this greeting is in the set. And I used one of my um, 
let me grab it. It's the blue and green. I think I've talked to you about this before. The rainbow pad with all the blues and the green. So I used that one to stamp it just because I wanted to add a little extra color. And then these cute hearts, we'll see that later in this catalog. That is from a different die set in here and I thought it was so cute. And the bow is actually part of this stamp or punch, excuse me, it, I stamped it and then I punched it with that punch. So that's in the candy cane bundle, which you'll see that in a moment as well. So what do you think? Do you like that? I think this turned out really cute. And then I used the shimmer paint to dab onto there. So just pretty simple. Oh, and the last thing is I used the new um, galvanized paper. You could also use silver foil paper or gold foil paper for that matter. And I just cut little strips because then I just ran it through and I punched right there and I just punched five of them out of the bottom of the bulb punch and stuck those on. So that was that. Super, pretty, super simple, right? And just stamp yourself a whole bunch of these. Like I said, I put all five onto one clear block so that I could just stamp, 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 stamp. And I did a whole bunch of them so that I could just punch, 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 and just have a lot of fun with that. So this is such a great fun bundle. And then I'll just, oh my gosh, I turned right to it. I guess that's kind of like fate. So back on page 47, there is another set that goes with that bulb punch. And I've talked about this before, but just, I don't want you to miss that one. And it has a penguin. So of course I had to get this one because it is so cute and it's called Making Every Day Bright. Okay. So let's move on. I also have the deer bundle. So I wanted to show you a card that I did with that. Actually, I have several cards that I did with that. So the deer bundle is the set of dies, lots of dies, and the stamp set. So you can see the set here, the bundle here. And by the way, if you're new to Stampin' Up! and you don't know what I'm talking about when I say a bundle, when you see this little um, box with this 10% off little cute little sign there, that means when you buy the two together, you're getting a 10% discount. So there is a separate ordering code. That's the two items together. Sometimes it would be the punch and the stamp set, or sometimes it's a set of dies. So do look for that and save 10%. So let me just show you very quickly a few of the cards. I created these two at Cindy's house last week. We got together to stamp and she designed these and created those and they're just absolutely beautiful. So she's got the Winter Woods stamp set and die in the background of that. And I think that's just really stunning. And this one with the blue and the snowflakes, very pretty. And then I did a set and I decided to use, let's find this DSP real quick so I can show you. It's here, I promise. Here it is. On page 29, Joyous Noel, I used some of the designer papers from this designer paper set for some other cards. And so on here, I used the gold edged cards. They come with the envelopes and I'll show you those in the catalog when we get to that page. And then I just die cut the deer with the gold foil paper. And then here, kind of the same idea with the silver edge card, the silver um, edged envelope, but I did copper. So I just did a whole mixed metal kind of look here. And I put just a little strip of that copper glimmer paper on here and then the silver and the gold um, pearls, metallic pearls. So just again that mixed and matched metal look. I know that's very popular in jewelry and fashion so I thought that would be kind of fun. Then I also did a vertical one so you can do that as well. Just a couple more. And you can see all I did on these two was I, I put the die upside down on the back to get it to go the opposite way. So that's all you do if you want a mirrored image. 
And then this one, this is actually in another set coming up, the poinsettia. But since it's kind of the same here, I just lumped it together with these. But I used the gold, silver, and copper foil paper. The copper is in the background of the Joyous Noel paper and the gold and then the gold. And I just thought that all of those mixed metals were beautiful. So I hope that's showing up so pretty on the screen. Hope you like those. So all of these, by the way, if you're looking for more details and a little more in-depth, all of these will be on my blog at pattystamps.com in the coming weeks. So don't worry if you are missing out the information. You will get to see those coming up. This one, I do believe that we stamped together, uh, at least this piece, and I used the baubles beautiful baubles. So this stamp is stamped twice with my rainbow pad that I inked in the blues and the purples. This has already been on my blog, so I can try to link to that under this video after the video. But this one also incorporates this beautiful new swirls and curls embossing folder. Can you see it in the background? And if you take your shimmer paint on uh, sponge dauber and just lightly go over it it will just hit the high points and it is a beautiful way to make a super quick easy inexpensive shimmery background I love this so that was that and I do think that we already went over that card on a different video so right here on page 11 this is where you'll find those gold and silver edged cards and envelopes so that was what I was showing you with the deer. So they're right here. So there is a pack of silver and a pack of gold. And you get 20 cards and envelopes for $9.50. So under 50 cents a piece. I think that's a great deal. So love that. And then this set I'm going to save for the end because I actually made this into a Halloween card. So I didn't do Christmas yet. So we're going to hold off on showing that. I'll come back to that. And oh, okay, here I got this. Let me show you these cuties. So this one, did I pull out? I didn't pull out the stamp set, but you know, it's right there. So you can see it, right? <laughs> so I made these with this stamp set called Bring on the Presents. And I stamped this bow three times colored it with my Stampin' Blends, and then can you see how I have layered it? So I actually cut out the top one, just the plus sign of it, so it's just, right here it looks like an X, but that piece, and then this piece, and then I layered it onto another one. So I just wanted to give it a lot of depth, like a real bow might be. Layered it onto a doily, added the tag from the set, and the dies are right here in the set. So super easy to just die cut. Oh, thank you, I'm seeing some comments go through. Thank you, thank you. So the pillow boxes come in a package. They're in the annual catalog. So if you're looking for those, you won't find it in this one. They're in the annual catalog. They come in a package and they're flat. So you just pop them up and then you can open them up and you can put things in. I also did uh, another project. I'm not going to show you yet because I'm giving it to a friend tomorrow. But I just put this in the paper cutter and I cut this off straight. So then when you open it, it just has like a flat opening and you don't close it back up. So that's also an option. Just, I hope that made sense. You'll see it on my blog in a week or two, but um, hope you like those. I thought those were very cute. Had fun making that. So that is the Bring on the Presents, page 16. So right now I'm just going over the items that I've already made Um samples with. So that's why you see me skipping a few pages. I haven't gotten to everything. I'm like, oh, behind. I just want to, I want it all. I want to make it all. But you know, there's only so many days in your life, right? <laughs> so these adorable Santa's workshop embellishments are right here. I just wanted you to see them close up because they are so shiny and so cute. And I love that they're super flat. I mean, they have dimension, but they're flat, so they're not going to cost extra in U.S. postage. I don't know about the other countries, but in the U.S., if you have a little lump, you have to pay an extra 21 cents. And 
that may not seem like a big deal, but when you're mailing like 70 cards a week, you need to be mindful of that like I am. So there's that. So the Santa's Workshop Suite, let me just point out, this is so cute. So you have the stamps, you have the dies that cut out the stamps, you have the adorable paper, and the dies also cut out lots of images in the paper. How cute could that be? Uh, the red rhinestones are in here, but they're also in the annual catalog. The red ribbon, fantastic. And then if you flip the page, you actually have a couple more pages of ideas and coordinating products. So I wanted to show you the memories and more. That's what I'm going to show you on here. Those cards are super cute. And then here is that punch I showed you earlier where I stamped the bow and I punched it out with the candy cane and bow punch and that was on the card with the light bulbs. So I just wanted to show you that. I haven't used the candy canes yet. I'm like dying to use all of this. But let me show you what I did with this suite and the memories and more cards because these are so adorable. I'm going to save this one for last. So let me show you these three first. So the memories and more pack are all these cute cards and stickers and they're, look how they're embellished with all the glitter and the flocking, and they're really cute. Look at all that cute glitter on those. So you have four by six inch cards, and you have three by four inch cards. They all come in a pack, in a box, like this. I've just flattened the box. I think there's, is there 72? Oh, it doesn't, what does it say on there? Let me look so I can tell you. Uh, oh, 50. This one has 50. So 50 total cards and your little embellishment stickers and whatnot. So my friend Cindy and I set out to make some cards with them. And I think these are just the cutest. So, so, so fun. So first we made this. We did a gatefold. So it's just a half sheet of cardstock. We put one of the cards and cut this strip from a card inside, put the sticker and then we stamp the buffalo check, and then we die cut one of the cards into an oval and stuck it on here. And then I just used the sticker for his hat so that it kind of looks like it's going outside the oval, layered it onto the scalloped layering oval. And so cute. Then we used, um, oh my gosh, this is in, you're going to quiz me here. We just passed it. The, the farmhouse one, this one, it's this label right there. So we die cut that label and actually use that stamp. So it looks just like this when you die cut it. That's what we did on there. And then I cut out of one of the cards, this little guy, look how cute. Just fussy cut him out. So he's looking up at the other elf. I mean, hello, is that not like buckets of cuteness? Then we did a four by four card. So we cut one of the cards out into a square with the stitched shape, um, Framelits, put it onto a layered square scallop framelit, used another card in the background, added some ribbon, and then die cut. This is right out of one of the cards as well. And then we use some of the stickers inside. And I know I'm going fast, but I have a lot to show you. These will all be on pattystamps.com in the coming weeks. But I just wanted to give you an idea, sort of an overview of all of these amazing products. And then we did this. And I don't really know what this is called, like a split split card maybe it's like a dutch door you know those fun dutch doors i remember vacationing in a house when i was a little girl that had a door like that where you could open the top half and you could open the bottom half anyway <laughs> so we put one of the cards up here so that it you see it from the front and then we stamped this and just die cut it with a circle put a tiny tiny little scallop garden green and then this if you got that amazing die set the color seasonal wait blended season <laughs> whatever it was called those dies that were only available in august that's what this bow is from and we use the new glimmer paper isn't that pretty so that was our third card and then this is actually the project that i brought for cindy and i to make that we made and then we kind of went into that but look at this fun little gift card holder so all this is is just a quarter sheet of cardstock and then we cut down one of the four by six cards, layered it there. We cut a piece of pool party paper, layered it underneath. And then this is a, not a four and a quarter 
by nine and three quarters, and I will have this on my blog in the future. So four and a quarter, nine and three quarters, and you just score it at three and a quarter and six and a half. And it makes this adorable little fold out that exactly fits the three by four cards. And then I cut one card in half to make a little pocket so that you can put a gift card. I mean, so cute. And then all of these little cute pieces, I just die cut right out of the Santa's Workshop paper with these framelits. So super easy. If you want to make a bunch of these, you're not spending a lot of time stamping and coloring. If you're just making one, you could totally stamp and color. So this way it all kind of works together and you can just um, do whatever works for your time frame. So we made all of those and we still have all of this left over to make plenty more. So I thought you might enjoy that. I absolutely love this cute little um, suite. It's so cute. When I first saw the catalog and the suite on the Stampin' Up! cruise in July, I just fell in love with this. It's totally bright. And what I love is that it's your traditional red and green. I know for a lot of years, sometimes Stampin' Up! has done something with like pale blues and pinks and almost lavenders and whatnot. And th while that is beautiful for Christmas, this is what I love for Christmas. So just loving this as well. Okay. And I just ordered this. I can't wait to use this. I think this is adorable. So, and I got this and I, the only thing I did with it was this. This was that poinsettia that I showed you. Let me grab that card back out. Here it is. So, this die right here is this, and I die cut it so that all the pieces would stay in. You can die cut it um, in it with a different sandwich to make all the pieces fall out so you have an outline, but I wanted them all to stay in. So I just wanted to show you that again in case you missed that earlier. Oh my gosh, I know I'm going fast, but there's so much to show you. Okay, this, super cute. So... I just did this with Cindy. She designed this adorable card. And this stamp set and die, I've shown this before, where you can, there we go, you can stamp this and you just lay this over it in your big shot and it die cuts out every single tag at once. Um, so cool. <laughs> So there you go. That's what it's going to cut out. So it cuts out all the tags. Love that idea. Brilliant. But look what Cindy did. She used the stamp. It's all one piece. Okay, that stamp is all one piece. She used it as a background. How cute. Totally adorable. So I love that. And then this is that die that I showed you way in the beginning where I said it will fit on a horizontal card, but it's really big. So you have to do it horizontal. It won't fit on a vertical. And the sprig punch under here, that is this one. And that's in a different bundle. So there's the sprig punch that she put behind there. Super cute. And it also has the swirls and curls embossing folder in the background. All right. Do you love that? I think that is so fun. And then I mentioned, oh, I know it was on the card with the light bulbs. I showed you a heart and I said, we'll get to that. So that is this heart and it's a stitched shape so that it cuts out um, stitching. So you can stamp all these cute little images and you can die cut and they are just adorably fun. Too fun. Oh, okay. So the Winter Woods, that's another one that I've used. That was actually just on my blog recently with a video. So you probably saw this that I did, and it is using the Stamparatus to add multiple layers of ink. So if you haven't seen that, you can go to pattystamps.com and scroll back a few days or my YouTube channel, and it will show you how to do that. But that is with the stamps. In, so these two stamps. And then using the dies, let me just show you. This was also on my blog a while ago. Okay, so there's the card. I used a rainbow pad in the background with the bokeh dots. 
And then I used these two dies to cut out the two trees. So one is a solid shape. This one you can see has all these little pop-up parts. And I just sponged the white shimmer paint on that and it makes it very shimmery. So I hope that shows up in person, but I loved that. So that just shows you two very different ideas. That was my rainbow pad that I used in the background. Two quite different ideas from that bundle. Very versatile. I think that this is something that I'll be using for a long, long time to come because it is amazing. Okay, then the Peaceful Noel. Here's another card that I did with Cindy. She, she designed this, and she used the beautiful tin tile embossing folder in the background, which we will um, talk about in a few minutes. And then the Sprig Punch, again here, is part of this as a bundle. So again, you'll see that little 10% off symbol if you buy it as a bundle. And we use this beautiful Mary Merlot copper reversible ribbon. So you can actually kind of see here on this side, you see more of the Mary Merlot. On this side, you see more of the copper. So it's just gorgeous, absolutely stunning. And then I um, sponged with a dauber some of the champagne shimmer paper, shimmer paint onto the paper. So can you see that the little sprigs are sparkly? And then I used my red Stampin' Blends to color these. These are the Frosted and epo Clear Epoxy Dots so that they're very shiny, but then they turn whatever color that you use with your Stampin' Blends. So that is that sweet right there. I haven't made anything with this. If you don't have the pickup tool yet, you are absolutely going to love that. I use mine a lot now. I, you just As soon as you get used to using it, you're going to reach for it all the time. Very, very helpful. These I've kind of gone over before, so I'm going to skip over that. I don't have this yet. Oh, okay. So um, the Frosted Floral Suite. These are actually on my blog today, and I love these. So what I did was I just started by stamping this large and small flower, this bud, and this kind of a leaf piece over and over, all in different colors. You can see I have lots of different colors. Then I used the matching framelits, and I die cut just all those pieces, and so that I had tons of little pieces to work with. And in the background, it's this stitched label. So, well, not the background, but behind, I should say. It's the stitched label. That's from the annual catalog. So I used that to sort of break up the background paper and the images. And then I just started building. So this piece is from this frosted floral designer paper, which has, can you see it's kind of a shimmery, frosty look? It's beautiful. And then this one is from Nature's Poem, which is in the annual catalog. So it gives you sort of a different look. Very, um, a little more springy and subtle, and then a little more dramatic with this one. So those are on pattystamps.com today if you need more info on that. And what do we have next? Um, so we've looked at the Buffalo check. I've used that on a few things so far. Here's the shimmer paint on page 38. If you don't have that yet, this is something that you're going to want. I do find the champagne mist to be the most versatile. It's very much like using a wink of Stella. So if you like the look of Wink of Stella, but you want to be able to do a little sponging, this is what you're going to want. Now, the white and the copper and the gold, you can't see through those. So if you want to kind of cover up the color or the paper, then you would use those. But the champagne mist, you can see right through. So that just gives you a little... Um, info on that. And this, um, you know what? I think this came today. I just forgot that UPS came already and I forgot to get my box off the porch. So I haven't made anything with that, but it's the blizzard and I definitely need to go grab that off the porch. <laughs> okay, country home. We're going fast here because I want to get this all in. 
So let's see, I think, I think this, no, one of these. I don't know, I don't remember. I don't know if I put any of these on my blog yet. So let me just show you what I made. This set is amazing. So you can see here that you have a milk jug and you have a pitcher. So here's the pitcher. These three have the milk jug. Then you have two separate pieces that you can interchange. So you stamp it on top. You do whichever one you want. So if you had a whole piece of paper like this, you would just stamp the jug or the pitcher and stamp the piece right on top. And it looks like it's coming out of the top. This one, I did it kind of differently. And I stamped it on a separate piece, but then I fussy cut with my paper snips. And I just laid it on top of this die from that amazing set that we had only in August, limited time only. So that gives it sort of a different look. Did the same thing with this one. And then the background of these two is this amazing tin tile embossing folder. If you can only get one embossing folder in your budget, get this. It is amazing. I absolutely love this. It is just, uh, it's crazy beautiful. So here you can see that I did a little sponging on there to give it just a little bit of depth. And on here, I used it with the silver foil. On this one, after using it on silver foil, I used some of that copper shimmer paint just to distress it. Um, this is this is really amazing. So again, I know I'm going quickly, but these will be on pattystamps.com if I have not already put them on there. So I just want to make sure that you know that you can find everything at my blog at some time or another in the next month or so. Oh, and I did use in the background the country lane paper as well. And then sprinkled throughout the catalog, don't miss the Stampin' Blends. There are eight new colors, so don't miss those. They put them all here and there throughout the catalog, and I don't want you to miss out on that. And the galvanized paper is here. I used that on that card with the Christmas bulbs, so that's where that came from. Uh, the Harvest set, um, Falling for Leaves, this is a beautiful bundle. And this is a card that Cindy designed. I created this at her house last week. We, we get together about once a month. I bring some projects. She has some projects ready. And then we make each other's projects. So this is the what the bundle looks like. And I love all her bright colors. This will be on my blog in a couple of days. But the Mango Melody is such a beautiful a bright, vibrant color, and this gorgeous combination of Granny Apple Green and Blackberry Bliss with the Mango Melody, and then broken up a little bit here with the Crumb Cake. I, it's just stunning. So that's what she designed with this. Oh, and let me just show you this. This amazing little die that really has nothing to do with fall leaves, but look how gorgeous it is in the background of this. I absolutely love this. And when you do a high contrast between the colors, it really pops. So that is a must for fall, most definitely. And we talked about the, the other bulb set that coordinates with the one in the front of the catalog. And then, let's see, did I, I think this was just on my blog or I don't know. I am blogged so far ahead, so many days ahead, that sometimes I start forgetting what I've blogged and what I haven't. But if it's not already been on there, it's coming up soon. <laughs> so this is the Cauldron Bubble Toil, Cauldron Bubble uh, um, Bundle Toil and Trouble Suite. <laughs> Lots of words to remember. Oh, by the way, here's two more Stampin' Blends. So this is like the Santa's workshop that I was showing you where you could stamp and die cut the images or you can use these dies to die cut several different images out of the paper. And I have some of them left over here. And this was a fun tip. I think this was on my blog already. I stamped this from that Christmas farmhouse Christmas and I stamped it right onto the uh, wood textures paper and die cut it and that way you really get a really fun wood looking tree and then I want to talk about the fence 
So the fence that's in the background of here, this is also from that farmhouse Christmas in the beginning of this catalog, but I used it on this card. But let me show you something really quite interesting. So this is what that farmhouse Christmas set looks like. So you can see the tree there, and these are the dies. There's the die that cuts the tree. And then here's the fence die. So let me show you something really interesting about this. So here's a piece of that wood grain paper. So while I was doing the trees, I thought, well, I'm going to do the fence. So here's the fence die. So you can see that I die cut four of them right out of here. First, I put the adhesive sheet, multi-purpose adhesive sheet on the back so that this would be super easy to adhere to my project. Okay, so I laid it down on the paper. So here was my big shot. You know, I had the platform, I had the clear plate, I had the paper, I had the die, I put the plate on and I ran it through the big shot this direction. One, two, three, four, perfect. They came out absolutely perfect. Every little piece just fell out, okay? Perfect. Well, then I looked at my paper and I said, oh, well, I can get one more. So I laid it like this and I ran it through and it did not cut. I mean, a little bit, but it didn't cut through. So I know what I could have done was left it on there and I could have turned it and put it through and it would have cut perfectly. But I wanted to save this and show you that if you use a die, and this could be any die, but basically one with tons of little cutouts like this, if you use a die and this happens and it doesn't cut all the way through, just line it back up and it's pretty easy to do because you can just sort of push and you can feel that it locked right in there. Turn your paper 90 degrees and run it back through and it will cut. So it's just a, a matter of the way the pressure of the big shot presses on your sandwich and your paper. So I just wanted to save that and show you that before I actually went back and die cut it out. And then if you're not familiar with what this means to have your um, adhesive backed paper on here. So I just want to show you. So all you do is just, I use my pokey tool to separate it. So then all I have to do is peel and do you see how that's shiny? So that's all sticky and ready to stick. That is the adhesive backed sheets. Let me grab one so that you can see what that is like. So the package looks like this. They're six inches by 12 inches. And I just cut a six by six piece to put right on the back of my wood grain paper. And then like I showed you, when you start peeling, you just have an amazing little sticker ready to use. So any intricate, small die, this is perfect for. I would not recommend trying that on with a punch because I think it would probably gunk up your punch. But the dies, it seems to be fine to use that adhesive backed sheet on your die. So anyway, that's what I did with that. And I just die cut out the cute little pieces right from the designer paper to make those cards. And if you haven't seen the black foil paper, don't miss that. So I just ordered this bundle and then, <laughs> hello, the bats are on that punch, the star star and the moon are in the annual catalog. It's the twinkle twinkle punch and it says it right down there. But um, yeah, so I had to order that one too. <laughs> and this I have. Um, oh, I have a sample with that. Let me see if it's right here. If it's not, then uh, it's not. I don't know where I put that one. Well, we will have to look at that another day. But that's basically it. And then of course, we have our hostess rewards back here. So if your order is ever over $150, you're getting an extra 10% for free. And then it goes up from there. Then we have the hostess sets that you can spend your hostess dollars on as well. 
So that is it. That was all of my fun samples that I had to share with you. I hope you'll visit me at pattystamps.com. You can share this video if you think someone might like it, and you can place orders at mystamporder.com. If you don't have a catalog, let me know. If you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator and send you a free catalog. So I hope you enjoyed everything today. I'm sorry if you had a question that went by. Um, I probably missed it because I was so excited showing you everything. But thank you for joining me today. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.